Hi, Dr. Lou Pulsifer here, and I'm going to try to clear up some of the confusion that is apparent when people talk about game patents. Essentially, for games, a patent is a waste of money, and I'll try to explain why. Keep in mind, I'm not a lawyer, but I've listened to lawyers discuss game IP quite a few times at game conventions, and I've read a lot, including the original government documents about patents, which are online. This isn't legal advice, but it wouldn't be legal advice even, even if I was a lawyer. I think it's a good brief summary. If you want legal advice, talk to a lawyer, but make sure you talk to somebody who's experienced with game intellectual property, not just some random lawyer, because most of them won't have a clue. What is a patent? It protects a specific expression of an idea, which is usually a product. But lately there are also design patents, method patents, there are different names for them, which the Patent and Trademark Office are issuing, t I think, to make more money. And many of those don't fit the criteria for patents, which not only that it should be a product, but it, it must be novel and non-obvious. A great many patents are issued that are not novel and non-obvious, and when they're challenged in court, they are invalidated. Patents work for a limited duration, 20 years or less in the USA, used to be somewhat longer. A patent applies only in one country. So if you want to pat patent something in Canada, you have to apply for a patent in Canada as well as a patent in the United States. Now this contracts with contrasts with copyright, which is respected in most countries through the Berne Convention. It's more like trademarks. Trademarks also tend to apply country by country. Keep in mind that one of the requirements is novelty. And I'm going to quote several times an IP lawyer, Steve Fassi. I hope I pronounced his name, last name correctly. One important concept that is lost on a lot of lay people is that when you sue to enforce a patent, and I am an IP law trial lawyer who defends big companies daily, you are allowed to argue that a patent is obvious by combining two or more things. Sort of like combining chocolate with peanut butter. An awful lot of the game patents I see are combining two things. But the Patent and Trademark Office has allowed many of these obvious patents, yet the courts are much more strict. So for example, Mike Gray of Hasbro told me that there's a patent on providing an 800 number for people to call when they're uncertain about the rules for a game. Now this is an obvious idea. It should never have been patented, but whoever holds the patent wants such high royalties that nobody's willing to pay them. And it costs so much to attack a patent in a court that even Hasbro hasn't spent the money to challenge this patent. At least as of that time, which is perhaps four years ago now. Unfortunately, the Patent Office is a big mess because it self-funds. This was not always so, but some years ago it was required to self-fund. And that means the more patents it issues, the more money it makes. So not surprisingly, the Patent Office regularly and routinely issues patents that are plainly invalid and are found to be such when enforcement is sought from our IP lawyer again. And this is where patent trolls have come from. And we didn't used to have patent trolls, but now they're common. They buy up the ridiculous patents that have nonetheless been issued by the PTO, and then they try to scare people into paying them royalties based on this trash. And they succeed sometimes. Sometimes the people say, go to hell, and that's the end of it because the patent trolls can't afford to take them to court because it's cost too much to be in court. But some people just give in and pay the royalties. Now, patents cost a lot of money. According to lawyers, it costs three to $10,000 to file. $1,500 and more of that is, is actual fees, but then you have to pay the lawyers. Plus, at three particular times, 
you have to pay $565 and then $1425 and then $2365 for maintenance fees to maintain your legal protection. So that's another 23, 37, 40, 43, $4,400. Worse than all that, it's far more expensive if you have to defend a patent in court. Lawyers' fees and court fees pile up very rapidly, and yet about two-thirds of patents are invalidated when they get to court. Successful games are very rarely patented. Games you never heard of and you never will make up virtually all of the patents and you can look at the patents online anytime you want and see what's been patented and at one point in this presentation I was going to include some examples and decided not to but most of them are ridiculous many of them you, you can't even understand what it says and if you can't understand what it says when it gets into a court it's probably not going to be judged valid because nobody will even know what it means and you have to be specific about a patent you can't be general so consider the cost versus your revenue how much are you likely to make on your game if it's a tabletop game a few thousand dollars at best with rare exceptions if it's a video game it depends <laughs> if it's a mobile game you'll be lucky to make five hundred dollars that's the um, median not the mean take for a game on the Apple Store five hundred dollars a patent will cost you much more than that why would you patent it so very few games are patented when there are patents related to games they are usually for software tools although more frequently that that's copyright that protects that the most well-known game patent that I know of is on Magic the Gathering. People uh, have said it's on tapping, but it's not. If you read the patent, which is now expired, it's all about the game and not just on tapping. What Wizards of the Coast was trying to do was to prevent people from essentially stealing the entire game. The look and feel of a game had come into it, and yet they have hundreds of competitors, don't they? Again, you can see the latest patents online, and typically there's something silly like a new way of betting on blackjack. One, it's not novel. Two, it's obvious. And three, it's useless. But somebody spent a lot of money getting that patent. Moreover, if you do have a patent, it's not likely to stick if challenged in court. And I'm going to read this again from our IP lawyer, Steve. Roughly two-thirds of all patents asserted in litigation are invalidated, that is, forever killed, either at trial or on appeal. The Patent Office offers these things, lets people get these patents, but they won't stick because the Patent Office itself is not following the correct guidelines. Now, let's consider patent versus copyright. Copyright protects the look and artistic presentation, including the actual wording of a work copyright violation is to some extent a criminal matter patents are purely a civil matter the government does not enforce patents no law is broken if a copyright violation occurs especially in a large scale laws are broken Microsoft can persuade the government to help enforce their copyrights you may not copyright is supported in most countries is respected in most countries via the Berne Convention you don't have to copyright something in every country. You don't even have to register a copyright anymore. It's automatic when you create the work. Patents must be filed in every country where you want protection and must be paid for. Now, we hear about lawsuits. One co game company says another game company has copied their game in some way. These are almost always copyright suits, not patent suits. For example, Wizards of the Coast has sued Cryptozoic because of a CCG that was just too much like Magic the Gathering. But that's based on copyright because the patent has expired. And there's a URL if you want to look this up. Um, the very well-known Triple Town video game lawsuit was based on copyright, not patent. 
Copyright and trademark are your friends if you're a designer. Find a game designer who has obtained a patent and almost always you'll find one of those suckers born every minute. There's no other way to say this. If you have spent money to get a patent, I'm sorry. You have screwed up.